everybody, welcome back. This is The Beer Is Not Bad. But the beer flows like wine. I, we are your hosts. I did it again. That was the second time, actually. That was the second time. I'm Scott Van Book. Pat Tugin. Alright, what do we got here tonight, Pat? Tonight was another, uh, another find of Bevmo, man. Bevmo is just the hidden wonders of little craft beers. This guy is the Coney Island Lager. Yeah, Coney Island Lager. I, uh, I don't know anything about it at all. I bought it purely off the label. Good. Let me get a little label shot on this one. The label on this guy is, it's a big Joker face. It looks like the Joker. Coney Island Lager. He's got a, he's got a Mike, uh, Mike Tyson face tag going. I don't know if you guys saw that. You His tattoo? That? Oh, oh my god, he does. Yeah, fully inked up on the face. Brought to you by the Maoris of New Zealand. Yeah, he's going for it. Yeah, it, it was just, I bought it off the label. I thought it would look cool looking. Pretty sure I've had this beer before and I enjoy it. Not positive, no. Not what? Not positive. I don't know if I've for surely had it before, but I feel like I've had it before. Or I've seen it on the shelves a number of times and said, wow, I should try that. I never have. Well, it looks good. It's got a nice dark amber color. Oh. I met someone today and, and they said that their belief on beer is you shouldn't be able to see through glass. I feel you. So this guy, this guy in color here, I'm going to put this one at about five. It's right in the middle there. It's not clear. It's not dark. I can see through it, but it's definitely darker brown. I feel like we had one like this last week or the other night, and you said it was a six. I'm going to put this one at five. I'm just that's just what I'm feeling right now. It's right in the middle for me. Yeah. But the head's you know not a really foamy head. There's not a lot of carbonation in here. It's pretty. I don't want to say flat, but I mean it's got a tiny, tiny little head on it. Not unlike yours truly. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna get into it. Cheers, man. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, right off the bat, I taste honey. Cool. Oh. It's got quite a, quite a nose full too. That's the first thing I noticed before I even hit my lips. So I was like, Are you tasting that honey? Yeah, fully. You can smell it. I don't know if it's just the bottle we have here, or is this how this beer is, but it does not have any carbonation at all to it, and there's no edge. Like, I could skull this thing right now and not even t think twice about it. Mm. Do you feel like it's kind of flattish? Like, it's got a flat kind of... Yeah, it's not a whole lot of carbonation in there. What the heck? No. I, I feel like this is something that I just... I may have left in the car for a while, and the carbonation just kind of like escaped it. I mean, the flavor's nice. There's just no edge to it. If you like a maltier beer, this is definitely it, too. This is one of those things. And I think that's what's kind of nice about some of the maltier beers. Is it's easier to pick out the complexities of them. Um, I mean, there's a lot going on in this glass, like Pat was saying, the honey. and uh, I mean, there's just there's a little bit more going on. It really blends well with the... On their website the here, it says, Step right up and witness the delectable alchemy of eight malts, six hops, and Czech Pilsner's yeast. Discover the thrill of old world brewing conjoined with the the beguiling new world flavor. Yeah, that's, that's on the bottle too. So, I mean, eight malts, six <coughs> hops, and a bunch of, you know, it says Czech Pilsner, a Pilsner yeast. So, I mean, take that for what you will. Where are you going to put it? Let's, uh, let's do I mean, it. right now, I'm putting this thing in about a three and a half for me. It's... We don't get a lot of them that are sub fives. I don't know. I, it's not exciting me at all. Like, to be honest with you, it's kind of like, I feel like it's gone flat. The beer's gone bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Dot like, com, Jigs out on Facebook, Twitter, yeah. Yeah. and in a glass. <laughs> what do you, I mean, what do you think? Uh, I do, this thing is, it, the ta it tastes nice to me. It's, I, you know, I understand it's a lager, not an IPA, and we've been doing tons of IPA, so maybe my, my mouth is just used to I, I'm just, the I'm just, IPA of it. I'm just not, like, like true lagers and stuff like that, where they're, they're a little bit more malty. Uh, like all the Gordon Beer beers, I'm not really a fan of as much you know what? as I am the hoppy beers. I'm going to retract that, and I'm going to put it out of five. Because now that you started thinking about that, and I've started thinking about that we've been doing IPAs over the last week... Like stacking it up to those beers, I, I but that's kind of what this is too. I mean, we're judging beers against each other. I know, but I mean, you can't put a lager against an IPA, though. I mean, they're in different no, they categories. Different. But and I started thinking about Newcastles and just different kind of you know beers that have a flatter kind of taste to them. 
And then I actually took a sip and it was much more enjoyable. Think about the Newcastle level. Like it's actually got a nice flavor. I take that back. This one goes back up to five for me. If you're keeping it in a Newcastle kind of mentality, this beer's not bad. It's got a nice flavor to it. It's got a little honey kind of note in the beginning that I don't it does. I can't seem to get past that. Too. Yeah, that's pretty strong. I it's just not wowing me. There's not there's not a an overwhelming like wah. If, if I hit it with a five, where are you gonna put it? It's a good beer, but has the beer gone bad? Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry for <laughs> thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna put it at a, at a four, maybe four and a half. Really getting into thought on that one. Well, I am. I don't want to give the beer a bad name, and just because it's not my cup of tea. But so, that's why it's my opinion, and that's why I get asked where I'm gonna put it, and I'm gonna put it at I'm gonna put it at a four and a half. It's a good so, beer, but it's not my cup of tea. Four and a half, five. That's where we're we're kind of taking this one. If you disagree, please tell us why, and you know, and let us know what you liked about it, and why it would be higher on your list, and if you agree and or hate it and let us know why there too I just there's not a lot going on to it it has off flavor and it is a lot like honey and it's there at the beginning and it's there in the middle and it's there in the end not a whole lot that's what we're here for yeah cheers man good review um, you guys you can check us out we're uh, on Facebook Twitter YouTube the beer's gone bad didn't stop me from drinking the whole pint I noticed that you drank the whole thing right up yeah, maybe I, maybe maybe it's not a four yeah, whatever. That's a lot. It is easy to drink, though, because there's no carbonation. It is a little easier. Um, you guys, thanks for checking in. We've had a, a good week. We, we reviewed some good beers this last week. We got into Cherry Stout. We got into oh, the good. Cornell 88 IPA. We got a, a bunch more for the rest of the week here lined up. So stay tuned. We got some good stuff coming. Scott, walk us out, dude. Whatever you want to say. <laughs> thanks for checking in. Um, I think you kind of just did that. and wrapped that all up. Beer's gone bad, guys. Check us. Thanks. <laughs> kind of threw you into the bus there, huh? Yeah, I wasn't ready for it. Uh, I thought I was going to kind of be able to take the back seat on this one. <laughs> I guess just let you run it.